Hi and welcome to a Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence and today we're going to take a look at the Gridiron Studios 112th Machine Gun Nest. This is it right here. So anyway, I've showed you guys before. I've done a few Gridiron stuff. They just come in a, a basic box. So there's no frills with that. And I'm perfectly fine with that. Maybe it keeps down some of the cost. I don't know. And then the weapons, the overlays, the loadouts, whatever you want to call them, come in a bag. So with this here, we have the machine gun. There's a gridiron thing. We're going to open it up. And then we got the sandbags that come with it. And the first thing that I noticed is sandbags are actually sand. They're not 3D printed. So that's actually pretty cool. Now, it looks like they might be a little dusty just kind of looking at it. But maybe there's just dust on the outside. Who knows? Hopefully there's not sand or anything coming out. Because that would be pretty damn messy. So hopefully it's just on the outside. We're going to get some sand. But it, it, it's pretty cool that they're actual real sandbags. So um, there's not too much more to talk about. Let's just get into this. But if you do like the content, take a second. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I do drop a Gridiron Studios video. Which... This will be the fifth one, and then we're going to have a short sixth one coming up really soon. So let's take a look at this stuff. All right, so here we have the bags and the sandbags. So anyone that's wondering the reason why I do stuff like this, I've had some people mention, they say, hey, you know what, you don't even, uh, oh, I see some sand already. So that kind of worries me that I'm going to have sand blowing all over the place. Um, so I've had some people mention to me how, you know, you don't take your time to pose the stuff, to even set it up properly. The, the whole point of the reviews that I'm doing is to show you what it is firsthand right out of the bag, right out of the box, whatever you want to say, and how easy it is going to be to pose the figure, manipulate the figure, set something up like this, where I don't think a lot of people see stuff like that. Um... So that's the reason why you see the way this is. So quickly, I want to mention, I said before, I like the idea that this is real sand. Hopefully this is just some sand from before. Not really seeing any fall out. Kind of just fell out of the bag. So hopefully that's it. But it's cool. They're real sandbags. So you got five of them here. You can easily just kind of place them. And you're never going to have the exact same look. Where if they were 3D printed, they would kind of be stagnant and you couldn't do very much. But here, using these here, you could do all kinds of things. Like you could easily take this little sniper position here. Again, I'm quickly setting up a <laughs> sniper who's already in position in a different angle on a skateboard. So that's actually pretty cool there. But I like the fact that we can just kind of move them. And if you want to stack them up five high, which I think they do in some of their pictures, you can. So I absolutely love that. I think that's really cool. Um, all right. So I need to take a second here. I'm going to pause this so I can kind of clean up the dust here because it's really going to drive me. It's really going to drive me nuts. I guess I should put that straight. <laughs> all right. So it's all cleaned up. Again, hopefully it's just kind of the sand or the whatever they're using when they fill this. So we'll open this up now. If you're new to the channel, first time you're watching a video or maybe you watched a couple, my videos definitely run longer than a lot of people's, but I get pretty in-depth with this stuff. I spend a lot of time. Uh, unlike a lot of people, you actually see me on film, and I know a lot of people don't like to be seen on. But I kind of enjoy it. It kind of gives you the personality and you get to see um, the person that's actually talking. So quickly here, we have the minigun. And looks pretty good so far. We'll quickly take a look and see. Um, doesn't seem to be bent at all, which is good. We've had a few issues with the gridiron just having a slight warpage because they're 3D printed. Now you can kind of fix that but I don't think for the price that you're paying that you should have to fix stuff like that and then so we'll pop this open here 
And let's see. That's just telling you. It doesn't even tell you what it is. Just letting you know that it's gridiron. So I guess they, they hang it when they do trade shows and different things like that. So here is our stand. And they give you pegs for the for the figures. Because they're going to have to kind of stand back, I guess. And here, so it looks like it's going to be stagnant. It's just a square. And the pegs here are square. So I'm going to say this thing's not going to be rotating. Yep. So it's completely stagnant. So if you're going to do anything, you're going to rotate this whole thing. Which in some ways kind of makes sense uh, in your display. Under normal circumstances, you would be rotating this. But once you get your figure, I guess, positioned, if you were trying to do different scenes or whatever, you're going to just be rotating the whole thing. So, I guess it all depends on how you feel about that. So here's obviously your ammunition can canister. There is your bullet belt. And you're going to feed this in here. And then it's going to feed in. Well, it's got to feed in somewhere. It feeds in right over here. So, that slides in really easy. So, this rotates nice and easily. So, I guess you can still rotate it that way. There's your slot for your ammo. And then you're just going to slide that in there. So, now you have an ammo belt that's kind of moving all over the place. And once you get your figure in, get his hands in, you should be all set. And you got a rotating barrel here, barrels, that are going to be rotating. Now, it does move back and forth, which is that so you can rotate it from here, I guess. It seems like this is loose and I'm not sure if it's supposed to be. Uh... So I'm not really sure if I like that or not. How that's supposed to be. Either way. That's how it is. <laughs> so once you plop it on there. It actually looks pretty good. You can throw in some sandbags here. Now obviously. If you only have five sandbags. I'd say it's probably not high enough. To give you too much protection. You're going to need at least another. Probably 10 to stack it around. So I wonder, look online and see if they sell these individually. I would love to have a bunch of these. Amazon, give us some for like 10 bucks for like 20. That's what we need. All right. So before we get a figure on there, let's go ahead and take a look at everything and see how it looks. So the ammo belt looks pretty nice. There is no, from what I can see, no paint apps on it, but that's fine. They're just bullets that are going to be shooting off. It's flexible enough that you're going to be able to move it in any position uh, that you want. It's smaller than what I think a lot of ammo belts are for miniguns. But I would say this probably is closer to what they're supposed to be. Slide this out if I can again. So here you have your gridiron logo. It's kind of like graded and again... Two foot pegs so you can get the figure in there. The detail looks pretty nice going up to it. On the bottom, it's just going to say gridiron. Then you have your canister here. It's going to hold all your ammunition to give you some nice detail. I do like the way that it looks. And it plugs in this way. So from the top, you've got your rivets on it. And these are all 3D printed. And they're done on high-end 3D printing. That's why you don't see any uh, marks in it, no uh, lines throughout it. For the most part, I think everything looks really, really nice. I'm gonna throw that right back on here. And I've heard people talk about how they do start to warp and then melt and everything. Um, you can kind of heat them up again and straighten them out and you're good to go. So quickly looking at this, there's no paint apps on it that I can see. You can have black barrels, uh, the black connection, and then it's a green gun for the most part. And on top here, you have your Gridiron Studios, which unfortunately 
with the light. I'll do this, move this right back here. So you can see, you have your gridiron right there. Looks really nice. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a light on it, maybe a laser scope, who knows. And then you got a handle, so if you want to pick it up and show them carrying it. Now, it does not look like this thing is made to be a handheld weapon, where the minigun on this was made to be. And you can see just how much bigger that thing is. We'll look at that thing in a second. But I think everything looks really nice on this. I think it's a nice stationary thing. Uh, this really should give Hasbro and the G.I. Joe team a few ideas that, hey, you know what? We can make little outposts and stuff for the classified. But everything looks real nice. It has some nice detail to it. I'm pretty impressed with how this looks. Even the handles there, they have nice little grips on it. So now looking at this, this thing is clearly meant, I would assume, so when you spin it, that's how you're going to spin it. Now, I don't know how you would do that because the hands are going to be sitting there. Um, and it does seem to be a little bent. But I don't know if that really matters because it's on a part you're not going to see. So let's see if we can get a figure on here without breaking the handles off. Now, I assume you're going to take this off here. Now, it just happens to be that I just happen to have flint up here. It wasn't on purpose but we're actually going to take falcon our ugly ugly falcon he's not as bad as you would think um i don't think the pictures do justice to him or how would i say he's not as ugly in person uh as he is on all those pictures and memes and yes i did memes on it but he's still probably the worst sculpt that the gi joe team has done but either way he's a joe they don't have to be pretty, even though he's supposed to be pretty. So there you go. We got his hands on there. Now this is clearly meant, I would assume, <laughs> it seems kind of low to me. That, I'm just going to say, I'm not going to lie about that. It seems kind of low. Now, I'm not really sure how you are supposed to fire this thing. As... This is kind of the issue that I do have with it, I would say, is that it just seems, that seems, it is way too low. Maybe I am missing something. I guess you could put him on his knees. Do we bend him even more? Like he's a, uh, a baseball catcher? Yeah. So this I kind of have an issue with. For the price that you're paying, it's just extremely low. Um, <laughs> I guess I have to look at the pictures and see how you go about doing this. So we're going to pause it and we're going to find something to prop this up so we can get a better look at how it should, in my opinion, look. All right, so here we go. I guess we can use this. This goes to one of the props that I use. So setting it up here, I'm going to set Falcon up. Now, this kind of works, to be honest. Now this is kind of big. This is probably the size that we would actually need. But if, now it kind of sits out too far. So I guess we could... So like this is where I kind of have a gripe. In my opinion, this thing is too short. Like there should be an extension here that makes it just set up higher. Now here... We can do this pretty nicely here. And now you can kind of throw your sandbags around it. And in some ways, this works out much, much better. But so here we kind of have the figure. And as we kind of twist it here, we can kind of see how it looks. I'm going to move it, the whole thing. This is not, the, the mini gun looks awesome. But the execution, in my opinion, is not the greatest. And maybe I'm just completely missing something. I think that looks awesome. You could, if you find a way to mount this on that Fortnite boat, you would actually have like a seal boat. Um, this actually looks really nice. I like it. I love the way it looks. I hate how low it is. 
this thing needs to have another two inch shaft that's what she said to get this up to the height where i think that it should be i'm not worried about the sandbags you know that's kind of a throw-in in my in my opinion and they should sell them if they don't i have to check and see if they do but and i don't have the i know someone's gonna say you don't even have you don't even have the gun belt on there here we go there you go there's the gun belt before someone whines and cries because unfortunately so many people do I know, guys, we're going a little long, and while you're waiting for me to do this, take a second, hit that like button if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button. So, I actually think that this, in a display, would look awesome. It just needs to be raised up just a bit higher, so. I'm not going to have a lot of complaints other than that, but for $35, I think you could print a higher post here so you can have both just one that goes up here it connects in here it almost looks like it is supposed to and that's what i'm wondering if we're missing something so the way that that is the way that's notched it looks like there should be one in here so um let's wrap this up and we're going to take a look and i'm actually going to look online quickly to see if something is missing all right so quickly Looking at the shots, and i throw it up there. That's how he is set. And I can tell, tell you this, getting an ugly falcon like that, you pretty much have to have a broken <laughs> angle to get it that way. Where it's got just, it, in my opinion, it is just absolutely too low. I think the detail looks absolutely wonderful. But that's basically the way you have to do it doesn't look bad but i wish that it was a little bit higher so let's wrap it up all right guys so there you have it you know okay i'm gonna apologize again it ran longer than i probably expected it to and i'm still out of sorts i think this one maybe the second review i've done since i moved everything around to get that straight um so i'm still i still feel completely out of sorts for some reason i always feel like the lighting's too Damn, I got to work on getting some better lighting. But anyway, so if you don't know, like, I, these are my honest opinions. I'm not trying to put anyone down. I'm not trying to, to shill anyone. Uh, again, I'm just being honest. I absolutely love the sandbags. I don't really see any sand coming out of them. I'm still getting a little bit more sand, but I think they were just on the sandbags. I love that. Uh, I haven't looked to see if they sell more, but I think that's something that they should. Again, looking at it, it comes out looking really nice. I just think that it is too small. Oops. I just think that it is too low for the six inch figures. Now maybe you want to use it for your 118 scale figures. Guess what? I have one right here. I wonder how that would look. I mean, it'd be kind of big, but... And yeah, be kind of giant to be honest. Um, I do want to mention, or did want to take a quick look, and I guess we can do this while kind of sitting here. Since we're all friends and we're all looking at me right now. So, these are the two different miniguns. This is what is on the Ram Cycle and what uh, Roadblock is walking around with. And this is the one that is completely set it's mounted i think we can agree that this one is probably probably closer to what it should be this is probably closer to a uh, a10 size and again this i have warpage too so i have some issues i don't have warpage before anyone wonders i don't have warpage so i like this i think the size of it to be honest if you threw it on here it probably fit a little bit better or look but they were trying to match this thing. I just happened to have all this stuff out. I really didn't bring all this stuff. Look, it's actually almost the exact same size. So I guess in actuality, that giant one on the classified RAM cycle is what it should be. So anyway, um, that's my opinion of this. I do think it looks really nice. I like that it's mountable. You're supposed to be able to get this off. 
to make it like he's mounting, I believe. God, I cannot believe I keep saying. Listen, there's nothing in there. This doesn't scream out sexual innuendos. Uh, and I'm trying not to, but I'm failing extremely, extremely bad. Uh, so anyway, I like it. $35 is what it is. It's not a bad price. I have an issue with how low it is. I would clearly have something like this with it propped up so the figure would be behind it. I just can't seem to get a really good pose. And again, I'm not spending hours doing it. As I told you guys before, I'm trying to do, hey, this is how you're gonna be setting up quickly. You don't need to be an expert poser, or you shouldn't have to be an expert poser to get it in a pretty good, uh, pretty good stance. But this is just too low in my personal opinion. So anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. That is it. I will post a link to it in the description if you are interested in and this gridiron studio props or gridiron studios no they have like these different names it's weird i don't know the link will be down there i'm just rambling all right um anyway i'm gonna get out of here okay you know the you know the deal you got the social medias if you are interested tiktok instagram and twitter a punk with toys hey listen i'm always on always on instagram you should go there and probably like that. Anyway, um, and before I leave, you know, the same thing. Hey, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Always hit the like button. Find any content creators that you enjoy because it tells YouTube people like this. People should watch it. And why wouldn't you like my stuff? I'm honest. I like a lot of people. And hit that bell notification. So you know if I didn't I do drop any type of video like this. So I'm going to get out of here. But don't leave. Right up here. This is the playlist to all the great art and stuff that I've, uh, you know, reviewed.